Live look at San Francisco, which just declared monkeypox a public health emergency. The city has recorded a full third of California's cases so far. There are now just over 400 cases across the Bay Area, with every county confirming at least one. Tonight, Santa Clara County is waiting on about 700 doses of vaccine. San Francisco will have more on Monday, but not nearly as much as the city says it needs. So what does the emergency declaration really mean, practically speaking? KPIX 5 Sarah Donchi explains. City leaders say that we have reached a critical point when it comes to the monkeypox outbreak here in San Francisco, and that is why they say they are taking this major step today. We, as a city and county of San Francisco, officially are declaring a state of emergency for a public health crisis uh, in San Francisco involving monkeypox. With cases climbing and vaccines hard to come by, San Francisco's emergency declaration on monkeypox is a call to action. The order will allow the city to streamline resources, like by asking some of the vendors it uses for COVID vaccine sites to offer monkeypox vaccines too. This will allow us to more quickly adapt and say, you know, are you able to also offer monkeypox at those sites on certain days? Right now, the city is expecting more than 4,200 vaccine doses from the federal government. But Thursday, Mayor Breed said it needs as many as 70,000. We are at a very scary place, and we don't want to be ignored by the federal government in our need. The city has seen long lines for vaccines and has had to shutter some of its sites as supply runs dry. It's prioritizing first doses to those most at risk, including some members of the LGBTQ plus community. It can cause life, lifetime scarring in, in, in situations. So this is, you know, this is not as widespread as COVID. It's not as transmissible as COVID, but we need to ensure that people are taking this seriously. Local and state leaders have pushed the feds to move faster to ramp up vaccines, testing and treatment. State Senator Scott Weiner has called for more companies to be allowed to manufacture the vaccine. My greatest concern is that if this continues to spread um, and if it eventually breaks out of uh, the LGBTQ community and starts impacting other communities, we will see an even greater demand for vaccines uh, and the supply won't be able to keep up. The Board of Supervisors is set to meet on Monday when they are expected to approve this emergency declaration. So that is when it would go into effect Monday, August 1st. At San Francisco City Hall, I'm Sarah Donchi, KPIX 5.